Hi class and welcome to week four. If you notice, look in Blackboard, I have graded all of your resume and have provided extensive feedback. One thing I want to take some time out of my day today is to talk to you about ONET. I've mentioned this in my feedback and I thought this would be a great resource to share. As with building your resume, you need to set yourself apart from other potential candidates. To do that, you have to really have that stellar resume and something that's different that says to an employer why I should bring this person in for an interview. So in some of the feedback I've provided, you see I tell you to take off your dates on your years or don't put your high school education. Why, you might ask. Because I know from reviewing, I review about thousands of resumes weekly, that when I see a high school graduation date and then I'll see your even your uh, degrees that you have earned that date, I can kind of guess what age you are. Now, while you might say it's discrimination, exactly. So if employers want a certain age demographic, don't give them the chance to either um, discriminate against you for having your age, for them figuring out your age. Let them look at your credentials and bring you in and speak to you and get to know you. Remember, you have to sell yourself as a person on a piece of paper. So quality, Formatting is everything. Formatting tells the type of person you are. If you have a sloppy resume that's not put together, that kind of speaks that that's the type of person you are. If you're very organized, have a very professional look um, resume, employers are going to look like that person's well put together, that person's very organized, attention to detail, and that's what I'm looking for. If you put attention to detail on your resume and you have errors, that's just saying the opposite of what you're stating your skills are, and then your, your resume is worthless. I'm speaking from experience. Also, you're going to see some of the feedback I provide. Someone might tell you, nope, take that off. It's your resume. You have to pick and choose what feedback you're going to take to perfect your resume. And the best advice I can give you, if you have your resume out there and you're not getting anybody calls or setting up for interviews, you need to change something. If you've all saw Legally Blonde, you'll see that when she was applying for an internship, uh, Reese Witherspoon, she put her resume on a pink piece of paper and sprayed it with perfume. Why? To set herself apart. That's what you need to figure out and that's what you need to do. I've seen some of the newest resumes coming in where people are putting watermark graphics in the resume in the background and I'm like, whoa, that's grabbing my attention. So out of the, say I have about 10 finalists on my desk, I'm pulling that one to the top going, wow, it says a lot about a person. I'm speaking from experience because I do a lot of hiring. So I wanted to show you this website called ONET. So if you just type it in, you can search it on Google, and here's where it lands. And this is a great resource, and this could be overwhelming. But right here I typed in medical coding and billing. And then you hit the little arrow. Then here they're going to tell you, here's this bright, the bright outlook for medical records and health information techni uh, technicians. excuse me. But here's billing, clerks, medical secretaries. So you pick one that's relative to you. I just clicked on this one, medical records and health information. And it gives you a summary report and also gives you some um, information about the degree and, or about the job postings and what they're looking for in field. Look at some sample important job titles. These might help you search on the um, internet for potential jobs. This is a big one here, Registered Health Information Technique. That's the newest upcoming. Also look at the tasks, tools and technologies, knowledge, skills, abilities. These are things that you need to look for in your ePortfolio to show reflection that evidence that you're needed on your resume to show that you have the skills of reading comprehension or active learning, critical thinking. Look, at these are some of the Brian and Stratton workplace capabilities that we speak of. Now remember, this is ONET, this is third party, this has no affiliation with Brian and Stratton. This is a uh, market uh, research and surveys out there from employers and it's across the country. Look at the abilities, work activities. Um, so here's where you can gain a lot of good ideas. Um, they even tell you the job zones. Um, education, some college, no degree, associate's degree, credentials, interests. I mean, there's a lot of information. This is even pretty important. Look at wages and employment trends. The median wage is $17.26 uh, $17 an hour or 35, almost 36,000 annually. Then you can look up your local information if you click on here for your state wages. Uh, the projected growth is 22% higher than the average and projected job openings about 90,000. So I hope you find this resource helpful, and I really encourage you all to go to ONET if you have not already been there. See you in discussion.